Mr. Herring told me that I had to hold on because he's about to make a lot of noise. <laughs> okay, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, all right, so I'm going to walk you guys through um, exactly how we want your happenings notebook to look uh, once we give you your central or your key idea, right? Okay, so today, this is what you'll see. Uh, you'll see your instructions for today, but first, of course, you want to set your notebook up. So if you haven't watched the video to set your notebook up, you need to stop watching me, I know, and then go to that assignment titled Setting Up Your Happenings Notebook, set it up, and then come back, okay? I'll wait. Okay, you're back. All right, oh, good. Oh, no, that it might look, we'll put out another video if we need something a little different, like if it's a vocabulary definition or something. Yes, so um, Mr. Herring had a good reminder. Okay, if we do something different than this, uh, than what we're doing today, we will put out a video to show you how we want it to look on there as well. Um, but here's how we want it to look today, okay? So once you've done your reading, right, uh, we've already done step one, we've already done step two, and now we need to open our happenings notebook, which as you can see, I have open right here. And we need to watch the video, which is this. We're doing it, right? We're doing the video. Okay, awesome. Hey, we're here. Okay, so today's central ideas. Who was the biggest threat to Spain's control? Why were they a threat to Spain? And how did Spain react to this threat? Those are all good questions. Those are all good questions. Okay, so what we want you to do is first, we should probably title this, right? Because we're talking about San Saba. Okay, so let's title it Threat to Spain's Control. That's the name of our reading for today, okay? Now, under number one, where we have a question. And the question is, who was the biggest threat to Spain's control? Now, me, being a professional, I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it. Okay, so you want to copy and you want to paste this down here, okay? Now, what we want you to do is we want you to write one to two sentences as your answer. So, tell me in one to two sentences, who was the biggest threat to Spain's control? One to two sentences telling us who was the biggest threat to Spain's control, okay? And we go to number two. And if you want some more space between your numbers right here, what you can do is once you have your number two down, you can click right here and you can hit enter and you can hit enter again. You hit enter twice, you hit it twice and then it'll put an extra space in there, okay? And we need to answer the second question, why were they a threat to, Spain's, to Spain? Okay, so we're gonna copy and we're gonna paste, okay? And then answer in one to two complete sentences. And you're gonna find all this information in the reading. And the best part about doing these happenings of history is we want this to be a reference for you. So what we've already decided to do is one, you're going to be able to use this on the quizzes and the tests, right? Um, and then two, we are going to pull from the questions that we're asking you in here, or the vocabulary, right? We are going to um, use those uh, to make the test so that this is a helpful reference for you, okay? Uh, all right, now we need question number three. So again, I'm going to come up back up here once I have my number three down there. I'm gonna hit enter twice. And you don't have to do it this way, I just like a lot of space. And how did Spain react to this threat? And I wanna type that question out so I know what question I'm answering, okay? And then I'm gonna answer in one to two complete sentences. Okay, now guys, hopefully this is not too bad for you, okay? Um, what we want is for you to take ownership of creating resources, kind of like we do in science. Uh, take that ownership of something that will help you um, when you're doing research, when you're doing tests, um, when we're having to write, uh, things like that. Um, because that's such a valuable skill, especially now that we have things on um, our Chromebooks and, and we're doing virtual school and all sorts of stuff like that. 
you have to be able to find all this information. And so we are just helping you create a resource um, to help build those skills to help you later on in life. All right. So just think of every lesson in social studies as a life lesson. Nah, I'm just kidding. That's not really, but uh, it can be. It can be. Uh, anything else, Mr. Herring? I think that was good. I think that was good. All right. I think that was good. Okay, we're ending this. Bye, guys. High five. Wait, how do you stop this thing? Okay, high five.